I started with three of these 6x8 canvases that you can get right from Dollar Tree. A pack of napkins, I got these ones from Home Goods. Some Wise Owl varnish and a Gen Foam brush. I took my napkin and I removed the plies from the napkin. This was a three ply, so it had two white layers that I removed. I varnished the top of the canvas, laid the napkin down, varnished on top of that, and then took some saran wrap and wiped it on top to get rid of any bubbles. And I repeated this on all three of the canvas. You want to remove the plies, you want to put a layer of varnish, your napkin on top, and then varnish on top of the napkin. Now this is just an example as to why I stay on a lighter surface when I am decoupaging. As you can see, the pattern just blended into the darker paint. Once all three of the canvas were dry, I took a tiny piece of sandpaper and just removed any excess napkin. I lined the three canvas up and then I flipped them upside down and taking some popsicle sticks, I just attached the three canvases together. I used some E6000 on the popsicle sticks, some hot glue to attach where the canvases met, and then I used a handheld stapler to staple the popsicle sticks to the canvas as well. I got these three wooden pieces from Dollar Tree, came three in a pack for a dollar, and taking some of the General Finishes gel stain, I just stained the wooden pieces and then I set those aside to dry. I went back to the canvas and using some hot glue and some jute, I wrapped the jute around several times to cover up the crease of where the canvas met. And I repeated that on both sides. I then went back to the wooden pieces and I Use the hot glue to attach them to the center of each canvas. I grabbed these cute hooks from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 and then I got them 50% off. And I drilled a hole into the wooden border of the canvas. And I then attached the hook to the bottom of each canvas. Now Hobby Lobby has their knobs and handles and hooks all 50% off every other week. I then flipped it over and I took my bolt cutter to trim any extra bolt that was hanging off. And there you go, now we have this easy, inexpensive car key or boat key holder that you can hang inside your home. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found at our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. Or don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube or our webpage. Have a great day.